Hi, I'm Tristan from Tapes in Motion. I'm going to be playing some songs for you tonight. Howlin' in the Wolf Den. This first one is the first song that my band ever released. It's a song called The End of It All. Door or all and ready to connect to your control. Smile, your eyes don't match up with your grin. You try to muddle all that there is left of your face. Meanwhile, there's been a murder at the home. They found nobody, just the bones. They found a mummy left alone and docile. And just about to snap, I didn't hit him in the head. I had no idea he'd be dead. Another bloody Sunday afternoon. Here alone in the back rooms I've been controlling my convictions Under supreme superstition I think you know what I know And it's the end of it all da 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 And it's the end of it all Hostile and ready to compete. I crave destruction for defeat. Technology that's obsolete. I cannot fathom the way that you see me. The way you use your faint I beat to illustrate the death of me. No, don't you take my life away I heard you say I have been so good today and I swear I'll change no don't you take my life Don't you take my bones And don't you take my clothes No, 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 no Another bloody Sunday afternoon Here alone in the back rooms I've been controlling my convictions Under supreme superstition I think you know what I know And it's the end of it all And it's the end of it all Born and raised in Peterborough, um, I've always I've always had a love for music. Uh, see, when I think I was like four years old, and my parents introduced me to the Beatles, became a huge Beatles nut after that. Um, I actually uh, I started learning guitar when I was ten years old. Uh, my dad got me this Beatles chord book, and I studied that thing, uh, studied every song, studied every chord, um, and that's how I learned how to play music. Um, and after, you know, learning all those songs, uh, I thought it'd be fun to, you know, try and maybe use what I'd learn and start writing my own. Um, and so, yeah, I was about 14 when I started writing music. And from kind of there on till now, it's it's just been uh, it's been my greatest passion. I love writing songs. I am 19 years old. Uh, I'm going to be 20 this year. I was a very forthgoing person in my uh, my teenage years. And so what I would do uh, when I was first learning how to play, play guitar, I'd gather up all my friends and I'd make these, uh, I'd make these bands uh, with my friends who didn't know how to play musical instruments, but I would, 
I would kind of out them and say, okay, you're a drummer, you're a guitarist, you're a bassist. And uh, my good friend Colby McAllister, who is uh, in Tapes of Motion with me, um, he, was, uh, he was the only one to stick around. And I'm so grateful that he did because he is uh, honestly the best, the best drummer I've ever heard. Um, and s- because we, we kind of grew up learning together too. So uh, it's, it's always great. It's like the left hand knows what the right hand's doing when we're playing together. Um, yeah, so Tapes in Motion. Um, yeah, we just, uh, we're a fairly new band, you know. So we started last year. Um, but before that, we were in a band uh, back in high school called Drift and Collide. Um, it's been a lot of fun. We're playing around Peterborough lots. Uh, so far, we've played at Urban. We've played at uh, Jethro's Bar and Stage. Uh, one of our favorite places to play is Sadler House. Um, we're going to be playing at the Red Dog this summer. And uh, we, we should, we, I think we're having a show lined up at the Gordon Best sometime this summer too. So yeah, lots of different places we're playing. This next one is uh, the second single that my band Tips and Motion ever put out. It's a song called The Whisper. It's about a very dear friend of mine. What's the first thing you do when you come home from work? Um, you know, I love, I'm not going to lie, I love relaxing in bed. love watching a show, maybe grabbing some snacks. Um, I know, that's a pretty simple answer, but I'm, I'm not going to lie. After, after a long day, I like to unwind and just, you know, sit back, relax, maybe listen to a little music. But who was okay. your first celebrity crush? Oh, no. This is, this is pretty bad. Um, so when I was, when I was nine, I uh, used to love watching Nickelodeon shows. And 
I don't know if, if anybody watching knows uh, who this is, but um, is there, or what this is. Uh, there's a show. There was a show called iCarly, and the there's a girl on there called Sam Puckett. Biggest crush on her. That was my first when I was nine years old. Huge crush. Can't believe I'm admitting that. This next song I'm gonna play. It's our latest single. It's a it's a little ditty called Automatic. So where do people find your music? Where is the best place to find everything when it comes to Tapes in Motion? We'll see. Uh, we're, we're quite active on Instagram and Facebook. If you just look us up, at Tapes in Motion, uh, you can find my uh, my personal Instagram, uh, at Tristan PJJ Conkle. You can add me on Facebook if you want. Uh, and my buddy Colby, my drummer, uh, you can find him on Instagram at, at Colby underscore JDMC. We have a show at Urban on May 20th with the, with the wonderful Pangea Project. And then our EP releases on May 26th, and we're doing a show at Sadler House uh, with the wonderful Van Camp to celebrate that. This final number that I'll be performing for you uh, comes from my band's latest EP, Desolation Disco. It's a, it's a little ditty called Off My Mind. I'm living on the other side of you, but no one seems to notice that you can barely focus. But I ask you, is it really true? Did you get the notion that you have my devotion? I keep coughing too loud from the smoke. Trying to get you off my mind, trying to get you off my mind, mind. And I'll 
have a good time trying when I'm always reliant on you to do the things I do but I keep coughing too loud from the smoke and I keep breathing the air that you choke honey I'll go you off my mind, trying to get you off my mind, mind, and I'll have a good time trying, when I'm always reliant on you, to do the things I do. never enough for me Oh, I'm living on the other side of you But no one seems to notice That you can barely focus But I ask you, is it really true? Did you get the notion That you have my devotion? I keep coughing too loud from the smoke and I keep breathing the air that you choke honey I'll go away but I won't I'll be wasting my time trying to get you off my mind trying to get you off my mind mind and I'll have a good time trying I'm always reliant on you to do the things I do. So that. See, I've always um I've always been enamored with 80s uh, music. I find, you know, like the Beatles and, and music from like 80s. I mean, the Beatles are not 80s. Um, but it seems whenever I'm, I'm writing music, I always tend to go uh, to that kind of era of time, like new wave, uh, synth pop. I don't know why that music resonates with me so much, but it does. And uh, I find it's, it's the one that I'm, the one that uh, is most easy for me to tap into. Um, and yeah. Yeah, so I feel like our music would best be described as synth pop, uh, maybe a little alt rock. We don't like to, you know, put ourselves too much in a box, but I think that's what what we'd be labeled as. It's weird. You're the second guy your age to tell me that you have a strong connection to the '80s and you <laughs> love the '80s. You weren't alive in the '80s, <laughs> right? Right. 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 So, <laughs> what gravitates your generation towards this decade that you know nothing about? Because trust me, if you were in the '80s, you do not want to go back to the '80s. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you know. I I think I'm a I'm a poser a little bit. You know. I I just I like the aesthetic of it. I like the I like I want to live in the now but have the '80s uh, the '80s vibes. You, know? you want the '80s with the internet? Yes, the <laughs> '80s with the internet sounds fabulous to me. Actually, that would be a pretty cool time. <laughs> the '80s with the internet. Perfect. Only one thing left to do. Yeah. Look into that camera right there. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, I can feel you here even when you're not. It's a drag.